Hi guys, here in this video, we are analyzing Telangana State 2018 Chemical Sciences. Watch the video completely to get a detailed conceptual analysis. Just look at the given problem. Central atom with sp3, sp3d2, sp3d hybridization respectively. Okay, just look at given four options. We have your different combinations of species. Just take the first one, beryllium chloride, in which beryllium is a central atom and we know that which contains two uh, valency electrons and uh, making two sigma bonds with two chlorines in that case it produces sp hybridization okay now just take ammonia nh3 the central atom is nitrogen and which have five valency electrons and which is making three uh, sigma bonds with three hydrogens and one lone pair electron is there okay so yes here sp3 so ammonia is having sp3 hybridization next one i phi minus okay we know that iodine is a central atom which contains seven valency electrons okay and extra negative charge on it so we need to take that electron total eight electrons are there making four sigma bonds with four iodines okay and then we have two lone pair of electrons P3 and D. Okay, so here we have sp3, sp3D hybridization on I5 minus like this. By just using this method, you can find hybridizations of all the given species in given four options for the given problem. But you cannot get the correct order of given sp3, sp3D2, and sp3D hybridization. That's why. There is no option in uh, the option, the correct option for the given problem. So one can get answer, one can get mark whenever one give option for the given problem. Okay. Now just look at the second one, the bond length and the bond order values of CO and CO plus R. Just take CO here. We know that carbon contributes six electrons and oxygen contributing eight electrons. So total. 14 electrons. So here CO is a 14 electronic species and we know that according to bond order scale Okay 14 electronic species contribute 3 bond order 3 and Just take CO plus where carbon contributing 6 electrons and oxygen contributing 8 electrons and total species is having plus 1 charge That's why we need to subtract 1 from it. So total number of electrons equals to 13 and according to bond order scale, it contributes 2.5 bond order. Okay, and we know that bond order is inversely proportional to bond length. Okay, that's why here highest bond order for CO that is 3, and uh, then its bond length should be uh, small when we compare with CO plus because CO plus is having 2.5 bond order. That's why it's, it's a bond length should be higher than when we compare with CO bond length. Okay, but you cannot get the correct combination of options. So here there is no answer in the given options, right? And third question, which of the following statement is correct? Best electrophiles have LUMO and best nucleophiles have HOMO. First thing, what is HOMO and what is LUMO? Here LUMO, lower unoccupied molecular orbital okay so whenever electrophile has lower unoccupied molecular orbital it is ready to gain electrons okay so that's why uh, whenever it has lumo then that electrophile is a best electrophile whenever nucleophile here h means highly occupied molecular orbital okay that is homo so whenever electrons are elect electron rich homo is there for nucleophile then it is considered as best nucleophile Okay, right, so option A is the correct answer for a given problem. Next question, choose the correct order of melting points for the following compounds, right? Here, we have given with uh, alkali metal chlorides, right? Just look at the first two species, uh, lithium chloride and uh, NaCl, right? Here, we need to, use, we need to look at uh, Parsons rules and the polarization of bonds. Okay, right. According to Fasen's rule, and here Fasen's rule is enough to uh, define or to give the order of melting point of lithium chloride and NaCl. So, according to Fasen's rule, if 
cation is small okay if cation is small and if anion is large then what happens the polarization takes place cation gets partially positive charge anion gets partially negative charge okay so this polarization leads to covalent nature okay and when polarization increases then melting point decreases okay so by that concept we can say uh, here lithium chloride has a uh, so here lithium chloride has a uh, greater covalent nature that's why it should have a, a less melting point or lower melt sorry lower melting point than nacl okay because here nacl is ionic in nature because uh, due to having similar cation and anionic size okay sodium plus and cl minus both have similar ionic uh, that means uh, sizes ionic sizes okay so just remember that here is a fundamental point whenever we have uh, different sizes of cation and anions then that leads to polarization of the polarization of the bonds between the two ions of given species okay so whenever polarization increases covalent nature increases and that leads to decreasing in lattice energy and that leads to decreasing in melting point okay whenever the ionic sizes are almost similar in that case ionic nature increases and then lattice energy increases then melting points and boiling points of those species increases okay now just come to the beyond nacl in the given order so here kcl and rubidium chloride and cesium chloride have smaller melting points when we compare with sodium chloride why because uh, whenever we move down in alkali metal or in the groups what happens the size of metals increases okay right in that case we have only only chlorine and which is having similar uh, same size throughout the species but the size of metal ions increasing here so due to increasing the size of metal ions the polarization increases due to the dissimilar ionic sizes so whenever uh, polarization increases as we said uh, melting points and the heat of sublimations decreases okay in that case uh, here sodium chloride uh, due to its greater ionic nature and greater uh, lattice energy having highest melting point among the given alkali metal chlorides okay so this is the order you can observe just for this so here highest for uh, nacl and uh, lithium chloride is less than nacl then all see uh, potassium chloride rubidium chloride and uh, cesium chloride have a lower melting points than nacl okay right i hope it is helpful for you and uh, if you are interested visit and join chemmasters.online to get best online courses to get the success thank you very much